Anyone can overdose or OD on controlled substances. However, local authorities tell me one place where it's rare to see ODs has recently experienced several in the last month. That's Woodbury County Jail. The Woodbury County Jail Administrator said there's been an increase in people overdosing as they were being processed into the jail. Within the last month, we've had two um, that have um, that we've administered the Narcan. I just think fentanyl and is just becoming a bigger problem. The opioid fentanyl is a nationwide problem, and now local law enforcement are seeing an increase as well. Here probably in the last week, uh, we came in contact probably uh, within probably five days of working, we came in contact with three people that were uh, related to the fentanyl that's been uh, rampant here in Sioux City. Fentanyl is not like a normal uh, drug, you know, in this area. Usually you see methamphetamine or uh, prescription drug use or marijuana, but fentanyl just seems to be, it's like a, a a popular drug here right now. So City Police Sergeant Thomas Skill says they're seeing a typical amount of overdoses, but an increase in fentanyl. Some of the, the more common drugs that we see causing overdoses are methamphetamine, uh, probably number one. We're seeing more fentanyl uh, causing overdoses. Gill said officers responded to 36 drug overdoses in the past six months. The biggest challenge for hospitals and law enforcement alike is that they're not always sure about the drug causing the overdose. We don't always know what people take. They're not always honest. Everybody tries to to skate around what they did or try to are embarrassed about what happened. Um, we'll try Narcan at first, and if that doesn't reverse it and doesn't cause the person to revive, we will then try other medications. We'll try fluids, we'll try uh, different other different types of things just to see what we can do to kind of flush the system out. And sometimes the person overdosing doesn't always know what they've taken either. One that I've been involved in was a 17-year-old girl that thought she was taking something else, a pill. Turns out it was fentanyl and she overdosed. It took uh, four doses of the Narcan to bring her back to life. Local law enforcement say it's difficult to track fentanyl and do not have the exact numbers, but they are looking for ways to stop the spread of the drug in the area. Tyler Eichner, KCAU 9 News.